hi everyone welcome back welcome to my youtube channel and this is the the last and the final video of the swiggy clone app i just wanted to talk about key takeaways uh, from the swiggy clone app which we have built like uh, what after this you might have worked on the swiggy clone app with me and built uh, the application uh, on your system right or you might have cloned the repository explored the code so what after this like what are the key takeaways uh, from this particular playlist which talks about swiggy clone and what after this like what you can build by yourself and if you want to extend this application till what level you can extend because we already have done the the lots of uh, ui components everything is right now is in the react so what you can do is if you want to migrate this into the next js uh, feel free to do this you can just use a next yes and next auth and you can just use the existing apis which we have built so we built uh, all the apis using nest yes right same apis can be used uh, if you migrate it to another framework and all but i would suggest you have done it in the react you try to migrate it into into next yes and also you can use uh, you can use next auth for the authentication we already have a auth service we, we are because in this application we are doing the login with the firebase and in the next auth you can have a simple integration with firebase firebase can be act as a adapter with the next auth okay we have built the apis in the next yes so i mean uh, you can extend the apis you can build more entities more rest api more interfaces to manage the data because swiggy clone is the vast you can have the rating system you can have the delivery notification system you can have the live real-time uh, notification being sent to the end users using webhook right you can just build that in the node.js and you can also extend the the stripe payment interface you can build the uh, the hooks at the server side and can send notifications to the user once the the payment is successful so you can use a stripe webhook you can extend the services right we are using firebase for managing the authentication and authorization you can also add authorization layer add authorization layer currently we are not having any role based authorization we are just using only the authentication okay you have the access token then you would, we, we will allow you to access the application next you can also add the typings you can create a pnpm package pnpm uh, package that can work as a typings and that typings can be shared among front end and the back end apis so i mean uh, you can extend it as long as, as long as you want because there are many services you can build and you can build more pages because we have a search restaurant landing page the most important part is you can build a restaurant admin uh, page restaurant admin interface i would suggest you to build this i'm already working on to this in the uber eats clone i'm building a restaurant admin interface which because we already have the restaurant apis you can create restaurant create dish menu items upload files and all all those things you can do with the restaurant admin interface for that you just need to have a role based authorization okay we already have the apis in the nest yes we just have a additional interface for the restaurant admins or restaurant managers to upload their menu items put the pricing and all okay you can extend the the payment interface you can also extend the delivery platform what the delivery platform does is uh, we are just assigning a delivery partner which who is getting the whole information about your uh, the 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 ordered items your address and the, your restaurant address and all those information you can also uh, add a delivery delivery platform so that you can track based on the latitude and longitude being pushed through the event notifications and you can also integrate this whole platform with the map box so map box is a mapping platform map platform like google maps here you can just uh, put a map marker okay you are you have placed an order from this restaurant this is the location and this is your home address because for home address also you are just getting the geo coordinates so map box you can integrate 
and user can just add you can just specify let long uh, while adding the new address okay so these are uh, like couple of points which i wanted to add and key takeaways we have done lots of things in this whole playlist like the api integration api authentication nest js uh, services we also talked about nest js microservices front end components building the front end component with react react integration with the firebase uh, simple authentication uh, with the firebase at the front end side and then at the server side validating the authentication token created by the firebase for the front end and then we build these couple of microservices restaurant services user preference services card service order service delivery service and we also did the stripe payment interface right how to do the payment integration with the stripe so key takeaways and we initially we talked about the pnpm and monorepo tool pnpm workspace we have used a lot and the monorepo tool because now onwards whatever the new projects you wanted to build always use these workspaces and the monorepo tool because every time you create just a folders there is no linking of dependencies you your package dot jsons are different for every projects you can have a common global dependencies at the root level those can be accessed at the child level so you can have a package based uh, a mono repos with the pnpm workspace yarn workspace or the npm workspace or if you want to learn more like uh, you don't think like okay this is not enough there is already a uber eats clone that i'm still going to publish 20 to 30 videos because uh, when i think about creating new video every time there is a new idea pops up and i try to implement it so it's not like i have the the whole product ready with me i'm doing i'm building i'm creating videos and i'm publishing it and i'm just showcasing the the whole demo with you so it's all about learn by doing it and show doing learn by doing a demo learn by coding it so but there are lots of services and lots of business logic still needs to be written and i'm going to make uber eats um, more extensive the business of the uber eats and the swiggy is same so that's why that's why also that's also the reason i don't want it to run both these playlists together i want to stop the swiggy clone at some point because it was the the playlist i created last year but has all these learnings there now you can just switch to the uber eats clone after finishing this because it has all the concepts of the nestgs microservices uh, asynchronous communication using kafka sorry just using rabbit mq we have implemented so the same logics and same uh, implementations i'm going to adopt in the uber eats clone also so if you are done with this you can extend and you can move to the uber eats uh, you can say that uh, uber eats is going a little slow because i have a couple of things to take care but i will keep posting more uber eats clone videos and every video will be will teach you something about uh, the whole end-to-end -end system design because we are building the whole set of microservices apart from that we, i'm also covering the nest js advanced course that parallelly covers lots of the advanced topics in the nest js and next js and nest js both are different next js is ssr nest js we are writing for building the microservices and the apis so stay tuned i will be posting more videos on the uber eats and stay tuned uh, so this is the closure of the swiggy clone if you see any issue you can just join my slack channel you can directly send me an email this is the whole implementation you can extend it and you can share with anyone you can just fork the code clone the code copy the code and use it in whatever the way you want it's all public okay uh, thank you everyone